Legend of the Great Pyramid, Part 5, Edgar Cayce, Giza. The history of civilization, the lost civilization described by Edgar Cayce of the Atlantean civilization, is preserved in three great halls of records at various intervals in the Earth's landmass. In front of the Sphinx is one of these halls, and a transcript of Casey's vision reveals the following. In an induced state, the late great Edgar Casey was asked, Give in detail what the sealed room at Giza contains. His reply was as follows. A record of Atlantis from the beginning of that period when the spirit took form and began an encasement of the land and the development of the people throughout their existence at this location. With the record of the first destruction and what took place in the land, with the record of the stay of the people and their activities elsewhere, with a record of the meetings of all nations. For the activities that became necessary with the final destruction of Atlantis and the building of the Pyramid of Intention. The Great Pyramid with whom, what or were would come, the opening of the records that are copies from the sunken Atlantean Empire. For the change coming from the Earth, it must rise again. This sealed chamber in position lies as the sun rises from the waters. The line of shadow falls between the paws of the Great Sphinx of Giza that was later tasked with guarding this chamber, but may not be entered by the connecting chambers within the Sphinx itself or the right paw until the right times has been fulfilled, when the changes must be active in the sphere of man's experiences and struggles. It is between the Sphinx and the Nile. These transcripts are suggesting that whoever opens the lost, hidden vault in the Chamber of Records, the name of that person is already written. This is the prophecy that Edgar Cayce unleashed. If we look back at the history books regarding this prophecy, then we do find curious connections. The 4th century philosopher Lamblichus, for example, suggests that the Finks serves as an entrance point to sacred corridors of a lost people. This philosopher suggests that the chamber either in or near the Sphinx contained inscriptions and records that are the very foundations of all knowledge including the unlearned and unknown. Some suggest the secret chamber is in fact the Great Pyramid as asserted by the Arabs as historical fact that the Great Pyramid is the chamber of knowledge. Built to withstand the cataclysm 12,500 years ago, the Younger Dryas impact event. The mystery of ancient Giza and what the pyramids are is the subject of the most mind-boggling array of theories ever established. The lost civilization that built these things knew they were leaving a message. The answer, it seems, is in the very foundation upon which these pyramids lay. The mound in front of the Sphinx is curious. Perhaps some sort of frequency sound triggers the mechanism to open the lock chamber. Johannes Helfrich, the artist who created this abomination of the ancient wonder, suggests that he encountered a secret passage there in 1579. He says in his travel log that you could enter this passage and project your voice as if you were the Sphinx itself. Maybe this is what happened when the Sphinx spoke to Thotmos. Perhaps a priest hid in the secret chamber and instructed him to recover the monument in Pharaoh's likeness. But perhaps this chamber can also generate a frequency that would literally see the chamber of records awake from the slumber in the sands of time. The mound in front of the Sphinx is 200 yards from the Sphinx's face. The Great Pyramid is the stuff of legend. Nothing at all is out of the question as to what it may be. The late great Edgar Cayce suggests it is older than 10,500 years old at the most delayed estimate possible. Cayce was an intellect. He was brilliant. Playing upon emotions, he would diagnose underlying illnesses to the would-be believer. His charm, it seemed, was part of the trick. That is, until you realize he wasn't fooling you. He was predicting with accuracy the things he had no business knowing. And for these accuracies, he is renowned. In a semi-conscious state, he would describe incredible things relating to Egypt. In particular, the Great Sphinx. 
he tells us that the Sphinx and the pyramids are remnants of a third world age, a time when the old age collapsed. He was adamant in his detail, Hall of Records and Passages in front of the right paw of the Sphinx. In fact, he even foresaw an underground pyramid in front of the ancient monument. Casey, who died in 1945, saw that refugees from the Lost Empire of Atlantis buried their secrets in a Hall of Records under the Sphinx and that the Hall would be discovered. This ties in with what the Arabs are saying about the Great Pyramid. Their legend maintains that the Great Pyramid was, in fact, a great vehicle of the past, an engine of humanity's brilliance. And at this place, the secrets were stored to survive the collapse of the third wave of existence. Unfortunately, that is now lost, plundered, and even stolen by would-be invaders who only had their mind set on wealth and riches. Our attention and hope, therefore, lies in the possibility of the Great Chamber Vault of Records being unexplored in front of the Sphinx. Our history stretches longer than we are accepting, you know, thousands or even tens of thousands of years ago. Someone had the idea to build a pyramid. Not only that, it seemed before they had done so that they also measured the Earth before plunking this thing bang in the middle. The information maintained in the dimensions of this ancient monument has astounded our understanding today. What good reason did they have for undertaking the construction of a monument that confounds logical understanding? They are obviously reaching across time to tell us something, right? According to the Pyramid Odyssey in 1977, Stanford research conducted acoustic surveys that revealed Edgar Cayce's predictions may be true. Chambers discovered on the Giza Plateau, including four shafts, linked by tunnels around the Sphinx, one of them dramatically under the right paw. Casey's description suggests ancient records are located at this feature, though it has never been excavated. These results do suggest that there are chambers here yet to be found. Of course, we are only now relying on modern techniques like LIDAR to scan these anomalies where possible, but the fact that these results came 32 years after the life of Edgar Casey is mind-boggling. He said that there are texts in a combination of old and newer writings, describing the newer text as Atlantean. The reemergence, the Atlanteans, and the Sphinx is but one of the three locations where these identical texts are stored on the Earth. There is a mound in front of the Sphinx that has never been excavated. In 1935, news was breaking out across the world that a new city had been discovered. Incredibly, these headlines are now the subject of a falsified debate regarding the ancient wonders. The headline declared, A highly organized civilization had existed 4,000 years ago. Now it seems the denial is rife of such discoveries. The Van Denon sketch of the Sphinx in 1798 depicts a man being pulled out of a hole in the Sphinx's head. A hole that was still there in the 1920s during aerial photography of the area. Efforts to study the monument had been blocked by the Egyptian authorities. For now, the ancient beast still protects all that is lost and unknown. Also, by the way, just thought we would mention that the 14-year restoration of the Step Pyramid is now finished. There were fears of a collapse after an earthquake in 1992, but it seems the engineers are now satisfied that it will maintain. Conservators strengthened the pyramid by filling in gaps in its six rectangular mastabis with stone blocks. The interior chamber and passages through the pyramid were also restored over 14 years of conservation and restoration. That is all for the moment. This was part five in our series, The Legend of the Great Pyramid. We will link the other parts in this series below for you to catch up on, so be sure to check that out, and we will see you guys in the comments section below. So. Remember to comment, and as always, guys, thank you for watching.